Until now, we have worked only with positive exponents. Here's a very simple example to understand negative exponents. Consider this number 3 raised to minus 4. Since we are familiar with positive exponents, let's understand how we can write this negative exponent as a positive exponent. We multiply and divide the number by 3 raised to 4. Multiplied by 3 raised to 4 and divided by 3 raised to 4. In short, we are multiplying the number by 1 which will keep the original number unchanged. That equals 3 raised to minus 4 multiplied by 3 raised to 4 divided by 3 raised to 4. We multiplied this with this and divided by this. Focus on the numerator now. Since the base is the same, we can use the product law to write it down as 3 raised to minus 4 plus 4. And we write the denominator as is. Minus 4 plus 4 equals 0. Hence, that would equal 3 raised to 0 divided by 3 raised to 4. And since we know that any non-zero number raised to 0 equals 1, we can write it down as 1 divided by 3 raised to 4. Let me repeat. This is a very important property. Any non-zero number raised to 0 equals 1. This was our original number. 3 raised to minus 4 and we got the answer as 1 divided by 3 raised to 4. So all we did is change the sign of the exponent and wrote it under 1. So we can generalize it as a raised to minus m equals 1 divided by a raised to m where a is not equal to 0. Because if a is equal to 0 then we would have 0 in the denominator which would make it indeterminate. This term is read as a raised to negative power m. There's a very simple trick we need to understand here. Consider 3 raised to minus 4. When we have to write it down as a positive exponent, it equals 1 divided by 3 raised to 4. So all we did here is change the sign of the exponent and wrote it under 1. Now consider 21 by 37 the whole raised to minus 7. To write it down as a positive exponent we write it down as 1 divided by 21 by 37 the whole raised to 7. Again we just change the sign of the exponent and wrote it under 1. The same trick can be used for positive exponents too. Now consider 4 raised to 3. We can write it down as 1 divided by 4 raised to minus 3. We change the sign of the exponent and wrote it under 1.